Hello everyone. Welcome to the lesson of Microsoft Excel. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about how we can automate Microsoft Excel using ChatGPT. So first off, we're going to learn about what ChatGPT is. So ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chat box developed by OpenAI and launched in November 2022. It is built on top of OpenAI's GPT-3 family large language models that has been fine-tuned, which is an approach to transfer learning using both supervised and reinforcement learning techniques. Okay, so if you want to like use ChatGPT, it is very easy. First off, what you're going to do is just go to a browser and then just search for openai.com. When you go to openai.com, it's going to open a pop-up. Okay, so first you have to do is try it like click on try chat GPD and then sign in or log in. So either make an account or maybe also you can use another account which is already made from someone you know or let's say anyone. Okay, so when you open up or sign into chat GPD, you will see an interface like this will appear up. Well, now you might want to know how it works. So as you can see that these are the examples, the capabilities and limitations. Okay, so these are limited knowledge of worlds and events after 2021. And as you can see, the capabilities of ChatGPT. As this is an AI, so it's going to help you find out solutions for your problems or find out the required type of data you need to use it as a solution. And you have to keep that in mind that ChatGPT not always shows you the same type of solutions all the time. Sometimes it changes the type of solution you're going to require, but it's going to give you the exact type of solution by following either the steps or even sometimes a formula. As this is Excel, we're going to use macros or either steps to like automate chat, like automate um, Excel using ChatGPT. As you can see that I have three examples here, we're going to find out all of those by using ChatGPT. As I don't know, or I'm going to like, let's say I don't know how we're going to find out the data or result uh, by using formulas on Excel, but I'm going to use the help of ChatGPT to find out the result. So first off, as you can see that on my first example, so as you can see that on Excel, use a formula to find each unique value from cell E3 to E210. So first I'm going to do is click on it and then I'm going to select it and then copy. After copying it by pressing on Ctrl plus C, this is copied and then I'm going to go to chat GPD and then from here, as you can see the bar over here, just type in or just paste the value. Okay, and I'm going to do is use this button click on your right mouse key and it will start like you know finding out solutions for you so it's going to take a while stay connected to the internet and after taking a while it's going to start showing you what type of data you need to like you know generate the type of values to find out the exact result you need so as it's as you can see that it is starting to show me the formula so this is going to be the formula equal index and then the values and then match zero count ifs and then you know it's gonna go on let's wait for a while and it's gonna show you the exact type of data you need so what I'm gonna do right here is copy this exact formula however it is and I'm gonna copy all of it till the bracket control C this is done I'm gonna go to Excel and then find a cell open cell and I'm gonna paste it and then I'm going to type it enter and as it is white over here as you can see that this is Fanta I'm going to use the fill header to find out the other ones let's say all of them are now Fanta but as you go down you will see Fanta and all of them okay as this is just Fanta my bad I'm going to use chat GPD again control A I'm going to press delete I'm going to use this formula again control C go to chat GPD open another chat I'm going to delete this. I'm going to type in the things or the same type of data again. And now it's going to show me something else. As as I said, that it doesn't show me the exact type of formula all of the time, but as this is quite how it works, okay? So I'm going to do is copy that. As you can see that this is 
quite the same type of formula. Control V, it is done. Use the fill header. Okay, you will find the data however you need by using the fill header. Okay, now it lets you use D3 to D210. V, my bad. Undo it. Control C. I'm going to go to Chat GPD again. I'm going to delete this. Delete this again. Go to New Chat. I'm going to paste this. I'm going to find D3 to D210. And now it's going to generate it. And now you can see that this is now on the steps. So we're going to follow some of these steps. And now what I'm going to do is make a list. Okay, go to the tab ribbon and then sort and filter group. Okay, and now what we're going to do is, for example, E3 to E10. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go to Excel. Excel, now I'm going to select this, shift and then down. Control shift down and now my bad it should be D3 okay now I'm gonna go to insert and then from there or my bad we're gonna go to make okay we're gonna make a uh, like list so I'm gonna go here and then sort and filter filter them and now you can also find out that what type of data you need if you need only like let's say I need only London so I'm going to select London and then press OK. And you will see only London will appear here. Okay. And if you can also do the same thing with the brands too, that's that is like totally up to you. Now you might say that this is really simple and anyone can do that. But now we're going to go and show you example two. So in example two, you can see that there is a amount sheet. Okay. And there are a lot of data. So here we're going to find out that in Excel if D9 matches E21 okay D9 which is right here E21 which is E21 right over here okay if it matches it as it does not okay you can see that if it matches it's gonna say yes but if it does not it's gonna say no so first off what we're gonna do is again copy this command and then go to chat GPD and I'm gonna type in or like paste it control V and it's gonna show me the solution how I can do it so the formula is gonna be this one so I'm gonna do is copy this exact how it is control C go to Microsoft Excel find a cell paste it and press enter and as you can see that this is a no because you can see D9 and E21 D9 2000 and E21 does not match because this is 20,351 and E21 is 19,326. So there is a difference. Thus, it said no. Let's say uh, D21. I'm going to change the data. D21. I'm going to copy this. Control C. I'm going to paste it to chat GPD. Use this button. And this will show me the exact type of formula but this time as I, if I press this you will see that this time it will say yes and so which just proves that chat GPD is like really helpful now you can see that this is a yes now let's go to the third example which is going to be the final one now as you can see that I have a data and now I want to make a drop down box and how am I going to do it so first off just type in the command which you're gonna type or like whatever like copy and paste it on chat GPD so I'm gonna select on this cell too and then copy this control C or just go to chat GPD and then type it if you want to delete well what type of uh, conversation you were having you can also delete it by clicking on it and then just pressing on delete and go to new chat and then you can just paste in your data press enter and it's gonna just start generating you can also stop generating okay so as you can see now this time it's showing me again the steps but not the formula because I did not ask for the formula but I asked for the solution how I can do it to make a drop-down box as it said to select the cell and then data tab Excel ribbon data validation data tools and then go into settings and then select on list okay so I'm gonna do our follow these steps I'm gonna go to Excel 
what I'm going to do is click on a cell. I'm going to go to data and then select on data validation, which is in the data tools. Select on it as it's said to be on settings. And then from allow, select list. And then what, what we're going to do is my bad list. And then from there, I have to select the array. So the array was D3 to D11. So I'm going to select these, click on it, and then press OK. Now you can see the drop down box has been made. So I'm going to select on it, and you can see that my drop down box has been made. I can select whichever one I want, and it's going to show me the exact type of data I require. So hope you guys understood everything, and thank you for watching this video.